I am and always will be a catalyst for change. I have already moved away from being a moderate, a liberal. My frustrations at trying to operate through channels and following the prescribed procedures and failing to get any action have radicalized me. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. In the end anti-black, anti-female, and all forms of discrimination are equivalent to the same thing, anti-humanism. It is not female egotism to say that the future of mankind may very well be ours to determine. It is a fact. Liberty and justice for all were beautiful words, but the ugly fact was that liberty and justice were only for white males. Racism is so universal in this country, so widespread and deep-seated, that it is invisible because it is so normal. Service is the rent we pay for the privilege of living on this earth. That I am a national figure because I was the first person in 192 years to be at once a congressman, black, and a woman proves, I would think, that our society is not yet either just or free. The emotional, sexual, and psychological stereotyping of females begins when the doctor says, it's a girl. The most tragic error into which older people can fall, is one that is common among educators and politicians. It is to use youth as scapegoats for the sins of their elders. The only criterion that matters in picking members for committee vacancies is their length of service in Congress. Congress calls it the seniority system. I call it the senility system. There is little place in the political scheme of things for an independent, creative personality, for a fighter. Anyone who takes that role must pay a price. Unless nominees are chosen democratically, with the widest possible participation in the process, nothing else really matters. We must reject not only the stereotypes that others hold of us, but also the stereotypes that we hold of ourselves. What we need in this country today is leadership which has the courage to call for income tax reform to put the burden where it must be placed, on those who can afford to pay. When morality comes up against profit, it is seldom that profit loses. You don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. If you liked the message of this video, there are other messages from other authors that you will certainly like to see and reflect on.